What's going on guys? Welcome back to Carrasco Ranch. My name is Robert. If this is your first time tuning in. Um, so today what I'm going to talk about is the cost to put out electricity. Um, I get a lot of questions um, pertaining to my property on how much does it cost to get water out here, how much does it cost to get septic, uh, sewer system, electricity, um, internet, you know, I get random questions because people who are looking to move to the rural area or looking to build a house or a lot of guys they want to put out you know little camp areas for you know for hunting and deer leases and for those of y'all who don't know this is actually classified as a deer camp or man camp um, according to the electric company so it's very relevant to you know those of you who want to go out and put something on a deer lease or something like that um, before I go on don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and if you have any suggestions or if you're interested in anything else that cost in a rural setting, um, any cost pertaining to a rural setting, um, drop it down below. I'll be more than happy to put, it, put together a video on it. Um, but yeah, guys, so real quickly, I'll kind of turn around the camera and show you what um, everything has been, show you what has been put in um, on the property, kind of talk, talk and walk you through what they did. So we'll flip the camera around. All right, guys, so this is the electricity that they did put in. This is a 400 amp service. So this is larger than your typical home service because your typical home is usually about 200 amps. Um, you can get a 400 amp for your home, but it usually is, you know, excessive for a, for a house. So this is a 400 amp service, 400 amp box, and... I'll kind of walk actually look at that guys we got a heavy rain and uh may need to backfill that again but um yeah we got a heavy rain and wash that out but they uh this is called your service pool wherever they drop down the line so these are your the main power poles here and what they did is they ended up clearing out about a 30 foot wide section on my property as you can tell and they just go to the nearest pole you have on your property. And uh, that's where they run the, the electricity from. If you don't have a pole on your property, say you have a small piece of property, it's say five acres and the pole is outside of your five acres, then you would have to do a easement with your neighbor or have an agreement with your neighbor or the closest person who has a uh, service or a pole service out there um fortunately i had two or three poles on my property so i didn't need to do that but if you don't have that if you don't have those poles then that's the route you you'll likely have to take all right so to kind of go over what it is like i said this is a 400 amp service your typical home is going to be a 200 200 amp service but they usually charge you by the distance um, as, of course, the amperage as well, because the thicker wire is more expensive as well. Um, but the farther you go into your property, the more expensive it's going to get, um, because they have to put more poles out there. And they can only expand about 300 to 320 feet. So when you're looking to do your deer camp, your man camp, or build a house, um, you can kind of gauge how far, if you want to do it yourself, you can get one of those long measuring tapes or just a laser beam and laser the distance you want to go to your property you can get a rough estimate how much it's going to cost you um, without actually having to have them go out there um but yeah so about 300 320 feet is the max they can go for a stretch of pole to pole so that's helpful helpful information to know um what else so this did cost me ten thousand five hundred i believe ten five um $500 is a deposit, $10,000 is for the actual service itself. Um, I have Carnes Electric, that's who I got. And so this is interesting and important to note. So if this is gonna be your primary residence, you can get a $4,500 credit back to you. So you will have to put down the $10,500 for the service. But once you have your mobile home or your home built and it's your primary residence, I don't know if this is for all electric companies or just Carnes, but I know for them specifically, you will get $4,500 back to you after you have 
verified they have, they have verified and have proof that you're living out there and once you have your mobile home and your house built you'll get forty five hundred dollars back credited to you so um and it's important when they put your your electricity service down that there's so many options that they can do they can do i forgot what it was like rv man camp which is what mine is and primary residence secondary residence there's like 10 different options right so make sure that they put down primary residence if it is going to be your primary residence so you can get that money back. If they don't put down primary residence, you won't get your money. So just, you know, $4,500 is $4,500. And in my case, uh, I paid ten five. dollars I'm not going to get anything back because it's seen as a man camp, uh, deer lease, uh, oil field related type of setting. So... Um, and I'm, I'm not going to, this isn't going to be my primary residence. So another thing, guys, you cannot finance your electricity service, excuse me, got a burp, through your electric company. They will not finance it for you. You either have to pay it cash, which is what I did, or you can either take out a loan. Um, I don't know, maybe like a personal loan or something might work. I'm not sure. Or when you're building a new house, all the costs to put the services for your new build will usually be included on your um, construction cost. So you, sh you can usually get the whole cost, building the home, electricity, sewer, water, all that rolled into one package for the home. Uh, so for a new home builder, that's the way I would go if, uh, if I was gonna do this all over again. So just FYI, um, those are usually your financing options. And like I said, the electricity company isn't gonna finance it for you. So. Um, I know this is for Carnes. I don't know about for all the others, but for the Carnes specifically, it's not gonna, they're, they're, they're not going to finance it. So, also before you um, tell tell your electric provider what kind of what kind of service you want, you want to have your electrician come out, check out the area. He's going to ask you what do you want in your home? How many? How big is your home going to be? What is it all going to power? Based off of that and the distance, um, of course distance plays a role into what kind of amperage and wire uh, gauges you're going to use. So you have your electrician come out here. He's going to ask you some a few questions. Off those few questions, he's going to tell you what he recommends, either 200 amp, 400 amp, um, up to, you know, say a commercial setting, uh, setup. So it's important to get your electrician out there first. Um, of course, if you have a general contractor, they're going to do all this for you when you're building a house or, and if you're going to just do a deer camp, most people know, most people who do that kind of stuff uh, may know themselves what kind of amperage they may need. Um, but if you don't, just go ahead and have an electrician go out to your deer camp or your home, whatever. And like I said, they'll ask you some questions. You tell them what you're going to do with it. And they'll tell you what they recommend as far as uh, service. Alrighty, so we have 10500 just for the service, okay? Then we have 4000 300 I believe for the box the wire and All the connections for the electricity and right now we just ran the electricity to the well uh, We still have to run electricity all, all the way to all the all the little houses. So um, That alone was 4,300 and the labor was I believe 1,300 so was that 5,600 plus 10 5 I don't know, 16,000 something. So we're at 16,000 something so far. Um, the other part of electricity, electricity running it 300 something feet, it's probably going to be another 10 grand or so, eight grand, maybe. Um, we'll see. Um, but again, if you have a backhoe, you can save yourself a lot of the cost. Um, if you dig the trenches yourself, which is what I did. I dug all the trenches myself, that was my electrician. He just had to come in here and drop all the lines in there. And it saves him from having to pick up equipment, haul the trailer, and uh, saves him time from having to dig everything. And it saves me money because now he's not charging me to dig a trench. Um, which is simple. I can do that. So no problem. All right, guys. So just to wrap it up, um, your service is going to be about 10000 on average. Um, I've talked to different people. It usually ranges between 7500 to 12000 for a typical home. Uh, for a deer camp, it's probably going to be a little bit less, um, depending how far you're going to go into your property as well. That that plays that's a variable on on the cost. Um, so yeah, just to wrap it up, ten five for the service, 
and 5600 for the electrician just to get all the equipment out here to get everything powered up. So, so that's 16,100 is what we're at right now just for the electricity stuff. And we're not done. So just to give you a heads up on how much that stuff cost, um, this is a bigger project that I have going on. So it is more expensive than the typical home. Um, but I just want to kind of give you guys a rough estimate of how much things cost in a rural setting um, as far as electricity and power. Because I do get a lot of questions on water, electricity, sewer, and all that stuff. Um, people who watch my channel, they usually will email me or comment, hey, how much, do you know how much this stuff costs more or less in that area, whatever. So I thought I'd make that video to kind of help people out and kind of, you know, give them a budget to look forward to, right? <laughs> um, but um, yeah, we're going to leave it right there, guys. Hope you all enjoyed that video. Hope you all gained some information out of it. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Without further ado, guys, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. And I hope I helped you out. Bye-bye.